Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. To start taking a look at a free-to-play browser game called Crazy Fairies. This is a turn-based tactical shooter style game. Think, if you're an older gamer like me, Scorch or Scorched Earth. If you're a little newer to gaming, maybe Worms, Worms Revolution, which just came out. So that style of game. This is the tutorial teaching us the basics. You can see you have to aim up and down to get your arc, and then space to do your power. Also, you're controlling one character as opposed to a team of characters like you are in a game like Worms. You do see we have two weapons. I can swatch, swap to my mage staff here. I am playing the ninja, so there are different classes in this game. And even though it looks like no matter what the shot goes through him, it's actually an explosive shot, so you need to get your power right even on the staff. You can scroll out to change your camera view, and then up and down to change your arc. Let's see. The staff does not need to arc, it goes in a straight line. So to deal with that, just click on the enemy and there you go. You'll aim right at him. Now you have to get your power right, which that's way too much. Yeah. You can see it shows the power of your last shot too, so you can kind of judge it by that. Just a little too much, so go ahead and aim for like 10-ish. Yeah, 10's gonna be it. Boom, right in the eye. Well, that's about all he's got going for him. You can see it's got a bit of an RPG element to it. We do get experience in gear, so you do progress your character. So, I guess think Worms meets RPG. Grab all our rewards. Oh, we got... These are consumables. Once... One time you use, you can use them for... Well, this one's a double shot. Just be very careful to aim correctly. This is against an AI, an NPC, not a player. I was like, uh-oh, I'm playing against a level higher level player already. But, no. Got kind of like a fight indicator bar at the top. Looks like I start with a little more life than Emily here. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my car, which means I can take two shots. It means you're going to take the same shot twice. And fail miserably because I let go of the space bar too fast. Now Emily over there teleported. Only way I can get to her is to teleport too. You do see I have a little turn indicator. It shows how much time I have left. Moving takes time. Using abilities takes time. Shooting ends your turn. So at this point, I actually hadn't realized that the little glowing icon in the bottom right is what I need to do. So I just teleport right here. This is still a tutorial, so don't teach me what I'm doing. And it's like I used up all my time, so she gets to go. And she's going to chuck an axe in my head. Ow. Round three. And she chuck an axe in my head. So I'm going to chuck a cannon at her head. Yep. Or at our head, because I'm bad at aiming. Never was very good at the bazooka and worms. So I'm going to use staff. Boom. Thankfully... This NPC is fairly weak, so I hit her a lot harder than she hits me. Otherwise, I'd be dead. If it were me, donkey, you'd be dead. Oops, that didn't look strong enough. Oh, I guess it was. Dueling banjos. Yeah, I'm not gonna sing that. I'm still a little getting over being sick. So you do get items for completing the quest, which that's where your cards, where your consumables will come from, and silver. There are two currencies in this game, there's silver and gold. Silver you get from playing, gold you can get by purchasing. So different items cost silver or gold. We also do have items, we have an inventory we can equip things for. There is buy and equip, so keep that in mind if you can't really sell an item if it's bound to you. And there's the warning. And there we go, both my rings. And also, one thing I should have done before I did this is to go 
check my quest, so back out of here. There's my quest in bottom middle area. Get reward. Looks like I get another treasure chest. And some experience! And from here you get another quest and just keep on moving. I didn't get a chance to try it out, but I can only assume this game is going to have player versus player. This just begs for it. Looks like I got some upgrades. But for now, it's just doing the missions just to learn. I'm not interested in player versus player because... Well, I'm bad and because I'm undergeared. I can l Last time I tried one of these games and I did a PvP match... Ooh, someone was much higher level than me and just wiped the floor with me. But thankfully we have a single player option for now to get into a better position. So we got Janice over here. Let's see if we can do any better against her. Round one. Fight! So the first thing you need to do is just move on over. Because it'd be really hard to hit her from where I was at originally. Scroll a little bit, which that is very nice. You can see like that. One more step and I'm gonna fall. Alright. Apparently I ran out of time. So she's gonna chuck a hammer at my head. Ooh, that one hit quite a bit harder than uh, the last NPC did. She gets to go again, I guess. Strange that the AI would have her hit me first and then miss because you can. A player can see what their level was and just hit the same one over and over again. A uh, little bit short. It's hard to judge distances when you're new at these games. Looks like that one clipped me on the head just a little bit. So go a little farther. Alright, a little farther than that. We're almost there. We'll, we'll hit her eventually. If this was a player, I'd probably already be dead. Oh, I just used my card. Curl, oh, no! This is the problem. I let go of spacebar too fast and... Yeah, you don't get to aim between shots. You just take two shots. So now... I might lose this. That would be... Very bad. Alright. And the worst part is I forget where I was aiming for. Got her! Got it. Just stay there. Oh, phew, she doesn't have any hit points. Alright, one more hit and we're done. Thankfully, because that was bad. Alright, let's finish this up right now. That was a little shorter than the last one. Good enough. There we go. Click the game, check it out. It's available for free. It's playable in a browser. No, no massive downloads this time. Click the content and stay tuned to more videos for MMO Play. Thanks for watching.